Hey everyone! For the treasure hunt event in Whiteout Survival, you might have wondered how many pickaxes on average you need for each floor. Or if you buy one of these packs, what is the expected number of floors you can get through? Sunry may be aiming for that milestone rewards, most notably the floor 25th for the mythic gear. You want to know if you can do it or not by spending X amount of money. This is why in this video, we'll dive into how the event works and reveal some math and probability insights about your chances of finding the floor treasure using the official information in the game provided for this event. In this event, we have a floor filled with treasures under the 25 tiles. There are two types of treasures, the ultimate treasure and the general or ordinary treasure. Our goal is to find the ultimate treasure of your choice. This is essentially a sample without replacement problem. Each time you fail to find the ultimate treasure, the chance of finding it in the next pick increases. But here's the twist. The ultimate treasure has a weight of 2, whereas the other treasure has a weight of 10. This weight affects our chances of finding each type of treasure uh, from the tile despite the game making your brain think the chances all equal with identical sized tiles. The ultimate treasure having a lower number than other means that finding the ultimate treasure is less likely compared to finding other treasures. And here's the chart of the CDF cumulator distributor function of finding the floor treasure. The probability of finding it in the first pick is 2 over 242. So 2 is just the weight of the ultimate treasure uh, which Gay has provided and the 242 comes from the 24 ordinary treasure times 10 weight of the ordinary treasure which gives 240 and then plus 2 weight from the ultimate treasure and that makes it 242. This works out to be roughly about 0.8%. The function also suggests 50% uh, of the time, it will take 24 picks to find the ultimate treasure. But that is not what you have experienced. This is because the event also has a pity system. The pity system means if you pick a set amount of tiles without finding the ultimate treasure, the next tile guarantees you, you will get the ultimate treasure. This pity number is 14 for the ordinary floors and 22 for the special floors of the event. With a pity system, half of the time, you can expect to find the ultimate treasure in 13 or fewer picks on ordinary floors, whereas on the special floors, it will take around 21 or fewer uh, instead of the 24 picks without the pity system. Since for every 5 floors, 4 of which will be the ordinary floors, and every 5th floor is a special floor. The combined probability is 4 of these ordinary plus 1 of the special floor, which will give an overall of this. This final CDF shows that 50% of the time, you can expect an overall of roughly around 14 or less picks to find the ultimate treasure and the expected number of pickaxes is around 14.3. So let's say if you have a thousand pickaxes, you will be able to get through around 6, 9 to 70 floors. This means for each of the $5 packs, you cannot on average finish a floor based on the amount that um, the $5 um, US dollar packs that it gives you. You will be around 2 to 3 pickaxes short and that makes these rewards like very lackluster and low value. So I do not recommend buying any of these pickaxe packs based on the math alone. Thanks for watching. If you find this video content helpful, please consider liking, subscribing and sharing this video with those who might find it helpful. If you have any other questions about the game that you want to be solved by math, just leave it in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one.